Hello everybody. Today we will discuss a problem uh, in electrostatic. It's called a charged ring. But uh, before that, uh, please subscribe for this uh, physics channel because uh, in that case you have opportunity to get each day a new interesting problem. And uh, I think this is in your interest. Thank you. So we have a uh, a thin disk of a radius R and a ring made of a small diameter wire a coaxial. The charge Q is uniformly distributed over the ring such that the lines of electric field emerging uh, from the ring at the angle alpha equal 45 degrees to the axis of symmetry of the system just touch the edge of the disk which is not charged. The charge density of the disk is uh, everywhere equal to zero. With what force uh, will the ring and the disk uh, interact if the disk is also charged uh, with the charge Q uniformly distributed over the surface of the disk? Solution First thing uh, which we can emphasize here is that uh, this problem has uh, axial uh, symmetry and the uh, axis of symmetry going through the uh, common uh, centers of the whole ring and the disk. Uh, let's uh, check the picture which can help us uh, to uh, solve this problem. Uh, we will just uh, take a close look uh, to the, the cross section of this uh, ring very close to its uh, surface. Uh, if uh, this uh, diameter of this uh, wire is very thin, it means that uh, all these uh, electric field lines they are going uh, almost symmetrically like for infinite uh, straight wire charged with the same uh, charge density. So it means that if we look at this uh, electric field lines which are going from beta angle equal zero to 45 degrees, they are going through this uh, sur surface of our disk. And other lines which are outside of this angle, they are going outside of this uh, disk. So and uh, because uh, uh, very close to this uh, cross section we have almost uh, symmetrical uh, lines uh, from the center of this uh, cross section it means that uh, part of uh, this uh, flux uh, from this ring going through this angle and this part exactly equal 1 over 8 of whole flux and uh, it means that we can count this flux due to Gauss theorem that will be this one. And now let's uh, take a close look for our disk. Here we can count uh, what is the uh, total force between this uh, disk and our ring. This force we can count from this formula. If we take a, a small piece of this uh, disk with the uh, area DSI, uh, we can count what is the uh, total charge on this uh, piece. That will be sigma DSI. And uh, if we multiply this uh, small charge by electric field exactly in the uh, direction of, in horizontal direction, which is projection of our electric field in this place and uh, summarize all this stuff that will be total force acting on this disk and uh, due to symmetry it's, this force is uh, uh, horizontal and going through this uh, uh, middle line but if we look at this uh, formula and take this uh, sigma out we have uh, this uh, sum which is exactly equal to flux of electric field from our ring. 
uh, because uh, projection of this uh, electric field multiplied by delta s that's exactly flux through this uh, small piece of ring and if we take a uh, whole sum of this uh, pieces uh, we will get full flux and uh, this is the uh, final formula for this uh, force that will be uh, sigma which is uh, surface density of our charge multiplied by total flux but total flux we already counted it's this one so finally we have this answer that force equal a sigma multiplied by q over 8 epsilon 0 and the sigma equal q over pi r square so we have this uh, final formula that's it this is the answer for this uh, problem